right. Thank you, Steve. Now, as we prepare for the flooding he was just talking about, tomorrow many cities have already announced closures for city buildings and schools. Multiple cities, including Norfolk, have declared a local state of emergency ahead of the tidal floods. Ten on your side, Lauren Moss was out in Norfolk earlier to see how the city is helping residents prepare. The city of Norfolk set out sandbags for residents to fill up to protect their homes. The Norfolk Emergency Preparedness and Response Director says the city has a plan and are prepared to act. I mean, this amount of water is going to overrun the system. If this is one of the responsibilities of living with the water. We'll get through it. You know, it'll, it'll come in, it'll go out, and, and we'll move on. But we have a really good plan. Jim Riddick, the Director of Emergency Preparedness and Response, says the city of Norfolk is preparing for major flooding and gusty winds. We expect some more down trees, down lines, uh, power lines. Before the weather moves in, we're checking all the pump stations, making sure all the you know the culverts and the you know everything is cleared out. The city also set up sandbags near Ocean View for residents to gear up for flooding. We heard that our garage floods um, from our former former owners, so we just thought it'd be a good idea. Jennifer Juggling and Ian Juggling loaded up their Jeep with sandbags today. We decided it was free sandbag day. We'd come out and get some uh, free sandbags just in case. Yeah, it only took 15 minutes. Yeah. So like it didn't take all day or anything. Jennifer will be home tomorrow as she is a teacher for Norfolk Public Schools. Stay home, stay safe. Um, hope for the best, I guess. Ian is preparing to take the Jeep to work, but Rick says don't drive through flooded water. He recommends using the Waze app. It will update your route to avoid flooded roads. There is still some time for you to prepare. Riddick recommends securing items outside. Uh, securing any loose objects that might be in their yard, uh, preventing them from being projectiles. If you live in low-lying areas in Norfolk, parking lots and garages are available to park in downtown until Wednesday. In the newsroom, Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.